Our top story, the Congress and the BJP are engaged in a pitched battle to win over India's poorest. With the Congress gearing up for a mega show of strength, Rahul Gandhi's comeback rally for the farmers at the Ram Leela Maidan, the BJP appears to have its counter in place as well. The Prime Minister will be addressing a workshop to the BJP MPs on how to make sure that the pro-poor schemes are implemented at the grassroots. As the two national parties compete over wooing the poor of the country, the question which party will have the upper hand now it's billed as rahul's comeback rally and there's a lot riding on his ramdila address to the farmers his sabbatical over and now it's time for action recently returned Ra congress sign will be addressing his first public rally after his 59 day hiatus from political life rahul gandhi assured farmers groups from four states on Saturday that he would address their grievances and now the party vice president faces the test of turning his assurance into political action. Rahul is expected to up his party's ante against the center's land acquisition ordinance though the spade work has been done by Sonia Gandhi for this event. Well, the Congress has pulled all stocks to ensure that Rahul's Kisan rally goes out without a hitch as uh, one lakh farmers head to Ram Leela grounds and the Congress has organized special trains and buses to ferry farmers from several states. As the capital prepares for the influx of farmers from across the northern region, the Delhi Traffic Police has issued an advisory for commuters in the city. But more importantly, as Rahul draws the Congress's battle lines, questions abound about his leadership. Will today's rally witness a new and improved avatar of the Congress scion? Will the rally mark Rahul's transition from a reluctant politician to an able leader? Will Rahul's land war attack dent the NDA's prospects in Monday's parliament session? Now, as Rahul fronts his party's war cry from Ramlila ground, the stage is set for a turbulent session of parliament that's starting tomorrow.